Yesterday's reported COVID count was just two, with both in the Deep South. This as Koreans have put their hope into reports that indicate that anyone having the virus twice can't pass the disease on to other people. Not confirmed by far, but that's made global headlines, as has the lockdown of at least two major cities in China, where the disease has re-emerged in large numbers. Screening of Thais returning to their homeland continues at all land, sea and air ports, and all arrivals are being put into quarantine for two weeks. That alone has seen the number of cases within the general public at virtually zero, as several have been discovered amongst arrivals. A warning, though, of just how easy it would be for a second wave to begin here were inbound flights allowed too soon. If all goes well, you may just be able to drink your favourite tipple in a bar or restaurant by midsummer, as Covid cases have dwindled to just a few a day, and mostly with arrivals in quarantine, so for those here already, we may just see an earlier than planned opening. Quite how social distancing would be obtained is anyone's guess, but that's down to the bigwigs. It could mean, however, that diners and restaurants will be more willing to open, as without the booze income, their profits from food alone is minimal. It's unlikely that entertainment venues will open at the same time, however, as social distancing would be virtually impossible. In TAC, a 43-year-old Australian has been charged with sexually assaulting underage boys, this after police raided his home and discovered seven juveniles, along with a Burmese couple who worked as housekeepers. The police have charged all three with drug possession as well, after methamphetamine was found in the home. In Chiang Mai, a Pakistani previously blacklisted from Thailand was arrested after police discovered that he'd sneaked back in and was plying his old trade of forging fake travel documents. Probably used one of his own to get back in, but this time he faces jail. With online schooling becoming popular, one Thai English teacher came in for a hard time this week as her efforts in teaching Ingrid in online Sakun proved terrible, probably as bad as my tie. This according to many who reported it on social media. Pronunciation of key words proves a challenge and that's being looked into. A heavy storm alert is on for Thailand through to the week's end. Areas including our own are warned to be ready for flash storms and flooding at any time. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, as we told you last week, the Highways Department will open the extended section of Motorway 7, that's the new route to map to Poot, and it opens on Friday. Ideally, it will reduce congestion in the future, when traffic once again returns to its normal chaos. Meanwhile, the route will be free of charge until the end of August. The route includes exits at, among other places, Ban Chang, Hua Yai and Utapau Airport. It's the turn of Soy LK Metro to get a bit of PR today. There, three of the Chrome Pole venues have started to use their entertainment areas not with gyrating girls, but instead with woks, pots and more. The three take it in turns to provide food to food lines of up to a thousand. And a check-in at any one of them will see unemployed girls up to their elbows in chicken, fish and rice as they prepare for the masses. Not the only centre of free food for the unemployed by far, but certainly a career change for the ladies. 899,000 baht has been donated so far to our appeal for funds coming in from around the world to supply the numerous food lines in the region. This week sees our team packing upwards of 1,200 parcels and stocking up for anyone to collect food for food lines on Thursday and Friday between 10 and 12. And on each day we expect to load upwards of 12 pickups. Everyone cooking or preparing groceries around the city is doing a fab job and we hope that you'll be able to continue to take what you need from our store. For that, as always, we need more funds. And you can make a difference by visiting gogetfunding.com and search for Fabulous 103. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters. Wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of just 33, dropping down to 27, a humid day with storms. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.